In Argentina, feminist, transgender and human rights movements and trade unions delivered a petition to President Alberto Fernandez's administration to promote action to tackle gender-based violence. Our correspondent, Carolina Silvestre, brings us more details in the following report. Among the demands made is to declare a national emergency due to violence against women and gender discrimination and to allocate special and appropriate budgets to the sectors involved. We need real public policy and concrete measures because in cases of feminicides we have seen that restraining orders are violated by the aggressors and we have to regret feminicides. So in this case, for example, in Ursula's case she was not listened to. There was a restraining order that could be violated as in other cases. So we need to move forward, preventive detention in cases of risk, to have some kind of record of complaints, to know the cases, to be able to identify the perpetrators of violence. Systematic training in the field for all personnel involved in these cases is another demand. I think we need appropriate personnel in police stations so that when a person makes a complaint more than once, they can go and visit them and see what happened and everything and provide the necessary protection so it doesn't end up becoming a front page story. Both in the case of a feminicide or a transvesticide, as is not only women, but we include all those who are no longer here and for whom today we shout, we want to stay alive. Effective and real coordination between the judicial branch, courts and prosecutors, law enforcement and municipalities to tackle each case is another point which representatives of all ideologies agree on. How many more girls have to go through this situation before the laws are really taken seriously? Judicial reform is necessary, but there are a lot of laws that remain a dead letter because this same situation, because there is no respect, because the struggles women have been fighting for so many years and are embodied in these laws are not respected. They are not carried out in reality. Legal regulations such as those surrounding comprehensive sexual education, which should be taught in all educational institutions in the country, are not it is something that has been calling us together for a long time. We have been demanding it for a long time, and today we reach a moment in which we say enough is enough. There can be no more patriarchal justice like we have now. We represent many women and comrades who cannot gather here, who are in the countryside, who are in different provinces of our country, but we fight under the same slogan, we are united. With a massive mobilization that took place a few days ago, hundreds of demonstrators demanded that the highest court of the country complies with the Micaela law and other measures to prevent more death. Carolina Silvestre, Telesur, Buenos Aires.